Well, some of my fence has arrived. That's not all of it, but that'll do some of it. I would wait till treated wood gets very expensive to do this, but they priced it back in uh, July, so they're still getting it done. So I'm doing the uh, wood fence up front and the field fence with the round post down the property line, which is about, I don't know, 5,000 feet of fencing. And like 500 feet of the four board wood fence up front. Here's all the uh, treated one buys for that. So let that sit over the winter and kind of dry out and then uh, paint it in the spring or the summertime. I like to let it sit for about six months and dry out. I'll probably stain it. Well, it's the same guys that did all the other fencing. I'll go up here and uh, show you what they're doing. Seems like I'm always beating the rain, trying to beat the rain. So, uh, got rain coming this morning back here at the farm. Uh, we brought the mini back yesterday. I took Brandon to the airport. Uh, had him there at like 6.30 this morning. It's Sunday morning and I'm trying to beat the rain. It's supposed to come through in about two hours. Got a pretty good little line of rain coming through. The uh, fence guy started on the fence um, this week. And I need to go back into the back corner and finish pulling some stumps out where I mulched with Zach earlier this year. So I'm going to take the mini back there and just throw them uh, on this side of the fence line so that I can clean those up later on. Just haven't had time to get down there um, until now. Don't really have time now, but I kind of at the end of the line, I got to be got to get it done. So I'm down here at the back of the farm. Uh, this is where the fence is going to go. If you remember, this is kind of where Zach helped me uh, mulch all this or chip it up with his chipper. And we cut all the stumps and threw them over here. And my goal was to for it to be able to dry out enough where I could drive the backhoe down here and load them into the bucket. Well, I got busy and that never happened three months later. So fence is coming through here. I just want to take all these stumps and throw them over here at the edge of the wood so I can uh, get them later on and it won't be in the fence guy's way.
rained out on the uh, cleaning up the stumps down there, but I got all that cleaned up and a little bit of bush hogging done. It just started raining too bad, so I parked the tractor up there at the house and had a little lazy rainy afternoon and I thought Winston would like to enjoy uh, a little tractor ride with me and he didn't want to get out of my lap. What do you think, Winston? Can't drive too good looking out the side window. <laughs> oh boy. Let's get the tractor parked, Winston. Then we can get out and go ride in the truck. He likes riding in the truck. Winston. We've got a full garage shelter, whatever you want to call it. What do you think, buddy? We gotta get out of here. Come on. Am I gonna have to, uh, come on. Get to the floorboard. No, oh, no, daddy. Good boy. What you think, buddy? Huh? I'm growing. You ready to go for a ride? I'm gonna pick you up and put you in the truck so you don't walk through this mud, though, before we get inside. Come on! Yay for Winston! Hey, Winston. Smile. Say, what's up, peoples? We got to uh, unhook the trailer from earlier. Yeah, you don't need little muddy, muddy dog prints all over the truck. I'll meet you on the other side. Already waiting for me. You waiting for me? Get into your seat over there. Good boy. Say, this is my spot. Hey Winston. Yeah, he said that's my resting spot. So that's where I chill out. All right, let me get turned around and we're gonna go show you the fence. So it's nasty and wet up here and hard to see, I know, but I'm not gonna go out here and tromp around in the rain. But the fence guys have worked on it for about a day and a half, almost two full days. They got that whole side, all the posts set. And all the posts set along this side. And the entrance done. I think they are coming tomorrow to run all the boards. And I'll do a nice gate across here to kind of seal everything off. Well, they've done a great job and hopefully tomorrow it won't be so nasty and I can get a little better video of it. I was going to plan on grading all this out today, bring some dirt in here and raise this up, but it's just been too too nasty. Right, Winston? Do you agree that it is too nasty outside to do anything? Are you just fascinated with the wipers? Alrighty. We'll work on it tomorrow, maybe. So day three of fencing brings another trailer load full of materials. Got more stacked up over there on the ground. Got a lot of post. But you need a lot of post when you're doing a, uh, I forgot how far it was, a mile, half mile, well, about a mile of fencing doing a pasture too. And they got a lot of boards up today. Walk up here and check it out didn't quite get them all down but uh got the straight sections down and start on the entrance uh, face full of sun that way but they got this section done got the 45s put in right here at the road the old fences right here i wanted a little bit more of an entrance so they got all those cut looks good 
What I like about them is when you look down it, it's perfect. A wooden fence, that's straight. <laughs> and uh, they'll go and they'll put the one by over right here and then there'll be a 45 degree angle cut on top of each post. Gonna look good. Go figure, I leave the tree that's on the other property. There's the marker right there. Uh, they've already pushed it out of the way, but the day before they put up the fence, which was there would have been a fence here tomorrow. Luckily that gust of wind come and got it. I guess clearing out all the trees around it, it broke, so I'm going to uh, go get the skid steer. I got the grapple up there and go ahead and get this cut and off the fence, but it actually knocked another tree down when it fell. Always something, so I'll get this cleaned up and get what I can out of here. Trying to get the tree out of here. They're like pretty much right on top of me with the fence and it'd just be a whole lot easier to get it out now than when there's a brand new fence. So I'm trying to drag it out with the grapple and not kind of bolt myself around on a tree. So I want to do a little ride along and show you what they've done in the past five days on the fencing. Five and a half days, excuse me. So, previous fence stopped right there. I did all that section to my left last year. And this is phase two. Uh, just because it, it cost so much money, I couldn't do it all at one time. But, fencing in the rest of the farm. So, across the front here, it goes to the property corner there. It's kind of a notch out because that old, they used to be like the homestead house, I guess, or it was taken out of this farm. So it's kind of a weird area here. But uh, comes down right here, goes across. I got some posts right there for, I don't know if 
that's enough for what they have left to do. But it comes across, goes down here to the corner right here by the entrance. And I wanted a nice pretty wooden fence. So I had them run wood fence all the way up, across, and down to the tree line over there. turned out great. They did 8 by 8s for the gate post. But everything just turned out beautiful, I think. Got all the points cut on the corner post and the covers and the 45s. But if you look down at everything, it's just like perfectly straight. That's what I like. even the other side and it's a little bit longer it's gonna look nice we'll get some signs and put up on probably that section probably the center right there on each side for the farm let's ride down here and look at the rest so the wooden fence goes down here Once it gets down here, it turns over to field fence. It's a lot cheaper to run that. And then it goes probably 2,200 feet to the back. Well, they haven't quite got that done yet. But we'll keep riding. I'm going to put in a gate right here to my neighbor's house to have access to the other side of the fence. Go down here to the pond dam. Uh, they had to curve it a little bit right here because of the toe of the slope kicked out. But then it starts going all the way down through the woods and across the field and about where that red uh, barn is down there. They, they quit running the wire. They run out of time but they got all that put up just two guys and right at five and a half days. So that's uh that's as straight as you can get it right there. I like it. And I'll run a uh, hot wire on top of this. I'm going to actually probably just run barbed wire from probably where the field is up because uh, I see those over time those Leland cypresses up there um, hanging down. I don't want it grounding out the hot wire so I'll probably just run barbed wire through here and then hot wire across through the fields. And we're going to go back there where I've got to take down a couple trees. A lot of wire. <laughs> going to take a lot of wire to go around the farm. And it's going to take more posts than that too. Sir, pile driver, post driver, and wire. I don't I, I've yet to be here when they were using that. I assume it can that clamps and they can that's how they pull it so tight. But they just run around with that putting right there and it just it's just like a jackhammer. That's exactly what it sounds like. And it just drives they don't even have to cut a point on those posts, it just drives them right straight to the ground. And he's got a pretty nice mower to uh run down there and cut down any brush that needs to be cut down so I'm going to uh, actually go get the mini and track it down here and I'll show you what we got to do so here is where I'm at that tree nice straight post property lines right here Never put the fence directly on the line, come over a foot. Well, eyeballing it, I had a foot, but now that the fence is over, it's right there on it. And that tree's gonna, and the wire's going on the inside to keep stuff in. So that's gonna put the wire wrapped against that tree and it's a gum tree and it's leaning and 
hindsight's 2020. I should have took that thing down, but I didn't. When I had the Hitachi, I could have very easily done that, but I didn't want to, if I dug that one up, I was going to take that one down and that whole cluster right there, and I didn't want to deal with it. So now I'm going to be uh, chainsawing that down. They can run the fence right here beside it, but I don't want that. I know good and well if I don't do it after that other tree fell down, this one's going to break off and fall. So I think I can cut it and drop it kind of right here at the edge of this field. Luckily, the soybeans didn't really grow, so I'm not really going to lose anything. And I'm probably going to grab this one too because then it can be a nice straight shot. I should have done it when I had the excavator. It was five times bigger than what I got to work with now, but I was by myself. And But here I am by myself now with the machine a fifth of the size. But I'm going to cut that off and let it go somewhere. It's all leaning to, I don't want to smash all the other trees up, but I'll see what I can do. That went exactly where I wanted it to. Barely even smashed any beans. So I'm gonna come over here now and cut this up and I'm bring the mini over here and drag it out and get everything cleaned up. All right, so there's absolutely no good way to take this one down because it is, all of the branches are hanging opposite. I would love for it to fall right there where that gum tree went. I've already got it cleaned up. But I'm just afraid if I cut it, something gets away and it flips over on top of the mini. So I'm going to cut it and try to drop it down the property line there, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully it won't wipe out too much. I really want to keep that holly tree right there, but I think the top's going to grab it. Oh well, we'll find out. that worked out just perfect I left enough wood holding on that side just to kind of let it hold it while I was able to go get on the mini and and push it it ain't no pretty logger stump but hey all I'm trying to do is get the tree down look at that didn't even smash the other trees up all right, let me get this cut up and these stumps cut down uh, before dark. All right, I'm soaking wet and sweat, but I got these stumps cut off. 
I'll probably put a little dirt in here and notch that stump down as far as I could get it in the ground. That way they can run the fence right straight over it. That wore me out right there. And while I was at it, the more I looked at these three trees right here, they were all leaning directly over. I'm like, not dealing with that. So I went ahead and whacked them down. I'll come back later and trim those off. I'll let it rain on it, wash some of that dirt off those stumps. But that's uh, more than I thought I was going to do this evening. So I got to get all this cleaned up because it's going to be dark here before long. Sun is going down. And there we have it right before dark got the last grapple full and it's now a straight shot i walk down here might have to notch this stump just a touch but now it's a nice straight shot with the fence line yeah i probably have to cut about six inches off that all right Get all this packed up and out of here.